Iran and France have shared a very turbulent diplomatic history. They had very strong relations under the rule of Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, who was actually the last Shah of Iran. At the time, uh, even the French language, culture and overseas education were all very popular among the Iranian upper class. In 1978, the Paris suburb of Neuf le Chateau became the home of the exiled revolutionary leader of the Islamic Republic, that's Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini. Then came the revolution in 1979. The Shah was ousted and Khomeini returned to the Iranian capital, triumphant. The revolutionaries praised France for its generosity toward their spiritual leader. But soon after, relations began to unravel, mainly due to Paris's support of Baghdad during the eight-year Iran-Iraq war. France was even dubbed the Little Devil by Khomeini himself. But the end of that war in 1988 marked a fresh start for the two countries. One bone of contention remained, Iran's nuclear ambitions. In 2015, after more than a decade of really tense negotiations, Iran agreed to scale back its nuclear program in return for sanctions relief. President Hassan Rouhani then visited the French capital in 2016 and the two countries signed deals worth billions of euros. This was a green light for French companies like Total, Peugeot and Renault. Today, Paris, like other European capitals, is under great pressure from Donald Trump to reduce both political and trade ties with Tehran, but France is pushing back, trying to sidestep those remaining US sanctions. Now, while no French president has visited Iran since even before the Islamic Revolution in 1979, Emmanuel Macron looks set to change that. The French president is expected to visit Tehran later this year.